Carnotaurus, the Horn, Speedster of the Cretaceous. Welcome to Jurassic Dinoverse. Let's dive into the prehistoric world. Carnotaurus, meaning meat-eating bull, was first discovered in Argentina in 1984 by paleontologist Joss Bonaparte. This fierce predator roamed South America about 70 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period. Unlike the T-Rex or Spinosaurus, Carnotaurus was unique, not just for its horns, but for how bizarre and specialized its body really was. Only one nearly complete skeleton has ever been found making it one of the rarest and most mysterious carnivores we've ever uncovered. The horns, why did it have them? Let's talk about the horns, those iconic curved structures above its eyes. Scientists believe they weren't just for show. They may have been used in headbutting rivals, intimidating prey, or even mating displays, like a peacock's. Feathers, but with more head trauma. But unlike bony frills of um, Ceratopsians, Carnotaurus had real combat-ready horns on a skull built like a battering ram. Speed demon of the Cretaceous. Now, here's the shocking part. Carnotaurus was fast really fast. Its long, muscular legs and light. Frames suggest it could outrun most predators of its time, maybe hitting. Speeds up to 30-35 MP. This made it a deadly ambush predator, chasing down smaller dinosaurs or striking with lightning speed. So while T-Rex may have been the heavyweight champion, Carnotaurus was the featherweight fighter, quick, agile, and deadly. The weirdest arms in Dino history. And then, there are the arms. Short. No, ridiculously short. Carnotaurus had arms shorter than <coughs> Rex, if you can believe it. So small. In fact, they were practically useless with strange inward facing wrists and no real ability to move. Some scientists even question if it used them at all. Were they vestigial leftovers from evolution? Or did they serve some weird unknown purpose we still haven't figured out? Nobody knows for sure, but they're definitely part of what makes Carnotaurus so bizarre and iconic environment and ecosystem. Carnotaurus lived in what is now South America, a warm, lush region full of other dinosaurs like Abelisaurus, and its cousin Titanosaurus, mm, massive plant eaters, and flying reptiles soaring through the skies. It ruled the open plains and forests, likely hunting in wide areas using its speed and strong bite to take down anything unlucky enough to cross its path. Bite, build, and battle. Speaking of bites, Carnotaurus had a deep, muscular neck and a powerful jaw, capable of quick, snapping attacks. It didn't have the strongest bite, force, but it didn't need to. It likely used slashing attacks, cutting into prey before pulling back. Fast, letting the victim bleed out. Some scientists even believe its skin had bumpy armor-like scales, making it tougher than most predators. Around pop culture and popularity. From movies like Dinosaur 2000 to Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom. Carnotaurus has become a fan favorite. Its devilish horns and sleek design make it a perfect movie monster 
and a real standout among the usual dino. Lineup. It may not be as famous as the T-Rex or Velociraptor, but it definitely holds its own as a prehistoric superstar. Final thoughts. Carnotaurus was fast, fierce, and downright freaky. With horns like a bull, arms like a wolf, joke, and the legs of a sprinter, it was nature's strange but effective killing machine. It reminds us that dinosaurs weren't. All just big and scary. Some were weird, wonderful, and totally unique. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of the strangest predators ever to walk the Earth, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Jurassic Dinoverse. Hit the bell icon so you never miss another prehistoric adventure. Thanks for watching and stay Dino Crazy.